My name is Tim Considine. I'm from the University of Wyoming, where I'm a professor of energy economics, and I recently completed a study on the economic impacts of the Marcellus Shale. Under the high development scenario, we have rapid growth in gas drilling. We have almost 4,800 wells being drilled in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York. That amount of activity over a nine-year period builds up gas production to a level that's very significant, 18 billion cubic feet of gas per day. That would make the Marcellus region by far and away the largest gas field east of the Mississippi and a very close second to Texas in total gas production. Value added is, is an economist's measurement of net economic contribution from a sector. It's, it's similar to gross domestic product. Under this high development scenario, that value added jumps up to over 24 billion. So that's a pretty sizable industry. Now, that industry employs a lot of drillers and a lot of contractors, truck drivers, other workers in the fields and then they go out and spend the money in wages that they receive on goods and services. The gas drillers are writing checks for lease and bonus payments, royalty payments, the recipients, households, businesses, local governments spend that money and that generates quite a bit of economic activity that creates, according to our estimates, 280,000 jobs per year in the year 2020 under the high development scenario.